Welcome to the Bowling Point. I have got Scotty Hollis, former technician and now Boiler University instructor. Scotty, welcome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now, one of the crazy things back in uh, the day when I was little, probably the coolest thing that I would see in a boiler room going with my dad is being able to look and see the flame. Now, the old flames, you had to look at the rear of the boiler only, the old burners, I should say, in the, in, in the, in the peephole and actually see the burner from the back. But man, these new limbs field are really, really yeah, cool. Uh, you can see it from the front, but does it make it easier for the technician? Sure does. Makes it easier for a technician because now I don't have to run around the back while I'm commissioning. So as you're commissioning and your light off, so you can see your pilots and then you can see your main flame ignition and also be looking at the controller at the same time. That's pretty cool. So I guess the thing for me is that I wanted to know and people would probably want to know is what are we actually looking at? So we now can see the flame from the front. So as a technician, what are you actually looking for when you're looking in there? So as you're looking from the front, when it lights off on main flame, what you don't want to see is a pulsating flame. So when you're looking at it and it's pulsating, there's an issue with combustion. So you may have too much air, too much gas, not enough air, not enough gas. So from the front end looking at it, I can see if it's pulsing. From that point, you would walk around to the back and actually look at the flame. And so from the back, what are we actually seeing from the back? What are you looking for there? So from the back on a low flame or a low fire and the main flame ignition, on a limb spill, you're looking for a blue core with yellow tips. You don't want to see too much yellow. You just want to see enough yellow at the end. And it shouldn't be swirling real lazy. It should be a nice steady flame shooting out of the, the burner. Okay, now this is gas fired, obviously. Yeah, so on an oil fire burner, is there, a, is there a different looking flame? On oil, I hope you wouldn't be able to look into it. It should be so bright when you look in there, it blinds you. Right. Um, but it's the same situation from the on oil. When you're looking at it, it should be bright, um, should be lazy and no haze in the middle. So. As far as the, the flame, we do want that flame shooting down the center of the Morrison tube and you, and you can actually see some that may be licking the, licking the, the, the Morrison tube sometimes. I mean, is that something that you run into? Yeah, I mean, on oil especially, the way that the angle of the nozzle is, you gotta make sure you have the right angle nozzle so when it's spraying out, you're not impinging on the Morrison tube. Mm -hmm. When it impinges, it causes smoke and then you end up with soot, clinkers, right. et cetera, which most people have had. Are you looking at all um, at the refractory? It should be far enough off the tip of the burner. If it's hitting the refractory, we're all in trouble. Um, you should have enough length off the refractory it shouldn't engulf the refractory. I should be able to see all the way around with a limp steel burner that on especially low fire, it shouldn't really affect it with the refractory. Would you want that flame off the- It should be off the refractory. Off the refractory yep. so. All right, well, I appreciate it, Scotty. Good job your first time. <laughs> all right, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.